and welcome back to Fox 23 News at 9. I'm Zach Seminar. Southern Miss sophomore Walker Kesterson climbed 18 spots on the leaderboard to finish the final round of the Bayou City Collegiate Classic in a tie for 29th. Walker posted a 1 under 71 on the final day to finish four over for the tournament. Freshman Brian Richards finished with a six over score for the tournament, finishing a tie for 38th, while sophomore Matt Lawrence wound up 57th. As a team, the Eagles didn't fare too well, coming home in 14th after accumulating a 36 over for the tournament. They will return to the Greens on October 23rd at the Quail Valley Golf Club in Florida. The Jones County Bobcats moved up three spots on the latest NJCAA football coaches poll this week, making the leap to number 14. The Bobcats defeated East Central a week ago 49-7 for their fifth straight victory. Next up for JCJC rival Pear River, Pearl River, excuse me, Saturday afternoon at 1 o'clock from Poplarville. MSU sophomore Peng Pikakul paced the Bulldogs golf team through Monday's opening two rounds of the Jerry Pate National Intercollegiate and a shot four under par in today's final round to finish eighth on the individual leaderboard. Pikakul's solid play helped guide MSU to a seventh place finish in the standings after sitting in 10th after day one. Pika Cool started Monday with a three under 67 in round one before going even par in the second round. Taylor Grant, Garrett Johnson had solid day twos to move up to 35th on that individual leaderboard, while freshman Cameron Clark dropped to 40th on the final day. The Bulldogs finished 32 strokes off of the champion Alabama. The host team bested Auburn, who came in second by six strokes. Former Bulldog offensive lineman Floyd Porkchop Womack, a first-team All-American offensive lineman back in 2000, will represent Mississippi State as part of the 2017 SEC Legends class. Womack, one of the best O-linemen to ever come out of Starkville, started 31 games at tackle during his time at MSU. Womack is one of just two MSU players to ever receive first-team AP All-American status. Womack went on to play 11 seasons in the NFL most recently with the Arizona Cardinals in 2011. The big man who is joined by Champ Bailey, Glenn Dorsey, amongst others in this year's Legends class will be honored a week from Saturday at MSU's homecoming game against Kentucky. The Ole Miss Rebels men's basketball team is coming off of a successful run in the postseason NIT that saw them reach the quarterfinals before bowing out to Georgia Tech. The Rebs finished the season at 22-14 and 14 and as a new season approaches, the goal is to get back to the NCAA tournament as is for every team. And today at Media Day, Coach Andy Kennedy thinks his club has the pieces to do just that. Well, we've been together long enough now that we're starting to establish an identity as a team. Uh, as I said earlier, I, I think we're athletic. I think we're versatile. I think we've got a number of uh, interactive pieces. And now it's just a matter of continuing to figure out the best way for us to be successful. The Rebels open up the 2017-18 season November 10th against the Ragin' Cajuns of Louisiana. The Adrian Peterson experiment is over in New Orleans. After rushing for just 81 yards for the first four games of the season, New Orleans has traded the former MVP to the Arizona Cardinals in exchange for a conditional draft pick. Peterson has struggled to find any touches in a crowded Saints backfield that includes Mark Ingram and Alvin Kamara. The Cardinals lost star back David Johnson earlier in the year and have averaged only 2.6 yards per carry on the ground as a team. The Saints will receive a conditional 2018 sixth round pick from the Cardinals in compensation. Mm. Mm. You know, I really thought it was a good move. I mean, who wouldn't think it would be a good move right. to sign a guy like that? But uh, well, Kamara's did. I mean, the, the the rookie out of Tennessee is doing pretty good. <laughs> yeah, and, and we just see this all the time. Guys just run out of gas. They hit 31, 32, and it's over. And that's. Right. I think that might be the case for for Adrian, but he's got another shot. We'll see. Thanks.